All right, so one more example here of factoring some trig expressions. So here we've got 2, two cosine squared x plus 2 cosine x minus 24. Okay, the first thing I always do in factoring is look for, you know, the greatest common factor. Well, 2 will go into all of those, so we can certainly factor the 2 out. And then we would have cosine squared x plus cosine x minus, well, I guess 2 times negative uh, 12 will give us our negative 24 back. But I think we can factor a little further um, at this point. And to me, what I see at this point is, um, to me, I see something that looks very much quadratic. Okay, so when we think about the cosine squared x plus cosine x minus 12, that to me really says, hey, you've got something squared plus that same thing minus 12. And I would think, you know, how does x squared plus x minus 12 factor? Well, that's going to factor, I think, rather nicely. So we need two numbers that multiply to negative 12 but add up to positive 1. I think we could use positive 4 and negative 3. Well, that's how x squared plus x minus 12 would factor. Well, we don't have x squared plus x minus 12. We have cosine squared x plus cosine x. So all I'm going to do is just replace my x's with cosine x's. So the same way, to factor, um, to factor this expression, instead of just x, we'll have cosine x plus 4. And then we'll have cosine x. Uh, minus 3. And notice again if you distribute all this stuff out, um, if you do distribute out, we'll get cosine x times cosine x, which will be cosine squared. We'll get negative 3 cosine x plus 4 cosine x, which would give us our positive cosine x. Positive 4 and negative 3 will leave us with our negative 12. So to me, this looks like a nice factorization for this original expression. So. I don't see much else we can do with it, so um, that to me looks like a good place to stop.